Hello, I'm Rovius. What to do at the beginning of a new DST world? Let's find out. So this might not be the objectively best way to do things, it is just my approach. So, if you want to get to where I am now, minus the frog rain, be sure to stick around. Also feel free to pause or come back to individual steps as many times as you need, as I'm speeding through this in order to keep it as short and concise as possible. Explore the map. You can either follow a road to a point of interest or what I prefer is to run along the shoreline which is way more thorough. I do recommend using wormholes as it speeds up exploration. Grab everything you can on the go. Food, grass, twigs, flint. The secret to success is always grabbing way more than you think you need. Before we settle down we want to make sure we find the following points of interest. The desert. The Pig King, the McTusk Camp, a Beefalo Herd, the Swamp, and a source of rocks, preferably the Mosaic Field. Some people also prefer settling down at the Oasis. As soon as you come across the Pig Village, you better go about crafting a hammer. Now start hammering down as many pig houses as you can find until you got at least two stacks of cut stone and two stacks of boards along with all the extra free pigskin. The desert is so particularly important for its precious tumbleweeds, providing you with an infinite supply of grass, twigs and the occasional rarer resources such as gears and trinkets the latter of which you can trade in at the picking for even more gold. You can also keep your thermal stones warm here during winter. Presuming you gathered your fair share of basic resources as well as rocks and gold, it is now time to put down a science machine, where you want to craft a backpack, a rope and use that in turn to make a spear, prototype a shovel, now prototype a lightning rod and two electrical doodads which you will then turn into an alchemy engine. You also want to make a fire pit. Crafting a pitchfork is optional, however, you very much want to make a razor at this point as well. But remember, we were just prototyping the structures, we don't want to put down anything yet. Next we want some silk, so with the help of this spear we can now kill some spiders and destroy the nests. Don't be afraid to destroy a couple of nests, they're really more than enough in each world. Next time you encounter a beefalo herd, be sure to shave them at night with the razor. Unlike other tools, it does not need to be equipped in your hand slot, therefore you can always hold a torch and just go about shaving. In the swamp you also want to pick up eight reeds. Now it is time to set up our actual base. We're looking for a location that is in close proximity to as many of the previously mentioned biomes as possible. The priority of the biomes in close proximity varies depending on which character you play. For most of my playthroughs I like to settle directly in the desert for a continuous access to tumbleweeds. Before we put down any actual structures we want to clear the area via arson. You want to set fire to as many trees as it needs to yield you with at least 40 charcoal. Now we will put down all of the previously prototyped structures. With the pigskin we gathered earlier, we can now craft a football helmet. Now it is time to enter the caves to gather ourselves a good number of light bulbs. We are also looking for rabbit hutches while we are here. Preferably hammer down at least 8 hutches. Using the light bulbs we can now craft portable lanterns. Time to make some crock pots using charcoal and cut stone. I always like to have a minimum of 4. Next an ice box using a gear we obtained from a tumbleweed. Turn the previously gathered reeds into papyrus and grab some gold and two seeds to make a bird cage. Crafted a thermal stone and a winter hat using four silk and wool each. I also made a chest at this point to store some items that are too precious to leave on the ground like pigskin. Time for another tumbleweed run to stock up on cut grass and twigs. Craft a bird trap, place it and put in a bait. You can give cooked monster meat to the bird to receive eggs. On the verge of the 11th night you want to make sure you are at Glomus statue in time to retrieve its flower. To dispatch of where pigs you encounter, always dodge first and then hit twice. Create a small pen, put in any food bag.
bait and create as many pig houses around it as you can. Now put the pig houses behind a fence of your liking. In order to farm them, feed the meat to a couple of pigs. Hit Ctrl F on another pig but immediately back off before the strike hits. Craft the meat hangers to dry the meat you acquired, turning it into jerky which restores 20 health and sanity. Now craft some bunny hutches, but do it without carrying meat or eggs, otherwise bunnies might give you a bad time. Now head into the forest and find a tier 3 spider den, which only appear around late autumn. Step on the net and lure them away, so you don't have to deal with the spider warriors. But only during the day. Once you defeated them all, you will have to fight one spider warrior before you can cut down the den for good. Place the egg next to the bunny hutches, providing you with an infinite supply of freed monster meat, spider glands and silk. Well done! You set yourself up for success and prepared for winter at the same time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, feel free to like the video and let me know if you want more content like this, because I could literally go on forever. Bye bye!